Hi, welcome to the interview. Interview? Yeah, you were just the closest one, so I called you in. I'm not entirely sure how this process goes either. I think we introduce ourselves, so I'm the Zoom and Overmind central repository for our species' entire consciousness. Same? That's the spirit. Have a seat. I'm still confused. Uh, what is this for exactly? Oh, a job. A new one. I'm kind of making it up as I go. It's hard to explain. Basically, I just think things would be a little easier if there was uh, more of me. There's billions of you. No, I know, but like... Two of that, you know what I mean? I think so. Anyway, I don't know how to find someone for this, so I figure I'll just promote from within. I don't know, this is how the humans do it. <clears throat> what would you say is your greatest strength? Working for half price. And then it's ju uh, just downhill from there? I'm a scientist. This job requires you to be scientist, governor, admiral, general. You have to deal with planetary resources, the economy, interstellar relations. I gotta be an expert in like all that stuff. So can you take any of that off my plate? I don't see how. Of course you don't because you can't because you're me and I'm already doing it all and you don't even know how bad it is because neither do I. Why are you doing this? Because being the sole head of a hive mind is exhausting. You have to do every job by yourself even when yourself is an empire. You don't get to take breaks. You don't get days off. I don't even get to oppress people for fun because you're all just me. We own that race of sentient cactus people. How do you oppress a cactus? You can't. I mean, everything else is great. The, the hive, hive is, is happy. happy. Happiness is irrelevant. And we're only happy because I haven't checked all these notifications about everything that's going wrong. Why? Because keeping secrets from a collective consciousness is impossible. And if we all find out I'm incompetent, there's nothing we can do about that. I'm sure you're doing fine. Let's take a look. So it seems like in this sector, no one's producing food, even though all they have is farms. Why? I, I don't, don't know. know. And even if I did, I can't manage to keep up with it all. There's a giant Rubik's Cube trying to teach us the secrets of the universe. Don't have time for that. We've been at war with some geckos for a while, and I wasn't paying attention, so our troops have done nothing. Here's a fun one. Our head of research got trapped in a time hurricane. So we had to hire a new one, but then the old one came back from the time hurricane. Then we had too many leaders, and our economy exploded. And I kind of feel like you should have heard about that one. I uh, was actually the one in the time hurricane. Oh, well, that explains the gap in your resume. I didn't give you one. I knew it before you got here. This is blank. What do we do? Two overminds. That's what I'm doing. That's what this whole thing is. And it's not working. It's just adding two infinities together. And I need a nap. You got the job. Hi, welcome to the interview. This is not helping. Ta -da. Thanks so much for watching. If you and a friend have ever wanted to try Stellaris and aspire to be a cooperative hive mind, boy do I have good news. Stellaris just got a co-op update and is free to play this weekend from today to the 26th. Thanks to Paradox for sponsoring this video and shout out to the Discord hive mind for making it possible.